If I have a high ticket front end offer and I wanna down sell them into my continuity, so I wanna take them from a six week at 599 where they're paying $100 a week and I wanna get them into a 12 month agreement that actually has more value than what they just got, you're gonna down sell weekly price and you're gonna upsell length of time. And so that's how it works. So you're like, you're gonna get all of this and pay half the price per week. So think about that. I'm gonna get more for less if I just stay longer and I know I have to stay longer anyway, sign me up. If you follow the steps in this video that I'm about to lay out, you will double, potentially triple your sales immediately. Hi, my name is Kellen. I am the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And this series is all about the frameworks and processes and trainings that are all outlined in a free guide that you can grab by clicking the description down below. There's a link there for this guide, which is called the seven money models, how we scale gyms to over hundred thousand dollars per month, like clockwork. And this is years and years and years in the making. And and there's 106 pages that you can walk through of things that our clients pay us over $40,000 a year to get access to, and you can get access for free. So if you want it, go ahead, click down below and grab it. And if you like this stuff, hit subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let's dive in. So irresistible offer checklist. There's a reason why most gyms, frankly, struggle at being able to get new clients. This is where I was. Before joining Gym Launch, I had no idea about how to create irresistible offer checklists or offers, period, how to sell any of that stuff. So I was there struggling, trying to get new members and throw throwing stuff out, boosting posts, using organic stuff, creating flyers, and I was trying to figure out all this stuff. I remember I even had an offer that was a six month healthy lifestyle transformation thing. And like, there was nothing in it that was sexy whatsoever, and it flopped horribly, which looking back now, it's totally expected, because it really had none of the things here that make an irresistible offer. And this is really important, because if you get your offer right, then everything else falls in line. It makes sales easier, it makes getting people to show up easier, it makes making money easier, it makes fulfillment easier because you're just telling people exactly what you're going to be able to do. And so this is the key. If you want to change more lives, if you want to impact more people, if you want to leave a legacy and you want to make more money, this is it. So let's walk through it. So number one is the pre-frame. Okay. So this is a checklist you can use at any time. If you want the copy, click the link down below. Here it is. Pre-frame. Question is like, what frame of mind is your customer going to be in when they walk into the sales environment? What are they thinking about? What do they know about you already? You want them as a client or prospect to be in a positive frame of mind where think about it. They already are thinking good things about you and they're excited to learn more about your offer. Things like social proof, authority positioning during the marketing phase play a huge role in this, right? Because you can send them things during lead nurture, all this stuff, but you can show them, even if it's like a lander of just your hall of fame, right? Of all the clients that you've worked with, it plays a huge role in this, right? And if you don't already have testimonials, this is really key, and third-party endorsements in all of your marketing, you need to get some, okay? Now be careful with the testimonials on Facebook and TikTok and all that stuff. Just make sure that you're good, but testimonials speak volumes. You need to make sure Google reviews are great. Yelp reviews are great. You should have it all over, plastered all over your website. You should have it plastered all over your Facebook business page. Testimonials, like crazy, before and afters, all that stuff. So that's number one, is pre-framing it. Number two is price anchoring. So before you reveal a price to anyone during this process, you need to make sure that you mention a higher price for that or a similar offer. This anchors, think of anchors the higher price in that client's or prospect's mind, and it allows them to, basically allows for you to have a higher perceived value for the offer that that you're actually gonna make them. Now, you might say, we normally sell this package for $500 a month. Then you can bring in a lower price and what are they gonna feel like? They're gonna feel like they're getting a deal, right? So infomercials have obviously been doing this for decades, tons of different people use it, and it still works. Even though people have been using it, it still works. It doesn't matter. Even when we know, like right now, if you know you're being anchored, it still works. It's incredible. The next thing, number three, is splinter stack. So this is really important. This is one of the most brilliant pieces of this entire checklist. And let's walk through, okay? So let's say with your gym membership that you have right now, you let people attend cardio and boot camp classes. Let's just pretend. And you give them one shake per month for nutrition. So you have a shake bar and you make them all that stuff, smoothie bar. And you give them accountability check-ins every month and you have a monthly grocery list too, okay? So you could just include all of these things in your basic membership, or if you wanna make it even sexier, you could offer boot camp membership and all the other components are splintered out, are bonuses that they get for free. So you're splintering them out into a stack. So you're breaking out all the components of your offer, like splinters, and stacking them up so people will see how much value you're really giving them, right? So the best bonuses center around logical needs like accountability and support. Would it make sense if you had someone reaching out to you every single day to make sure that you were following the meal plan? Do you feel like you get better results? Great, right? And when customers will see those items broken down on a list, they think, wow, I didn't even think about that, but I totally need it. And so it immediately adds perceived value to it. The next two are gonna be scarcity and urgency, right? So scarcity is how many of an asset or unit you have left. So how many spots, right? For example, we only have 10 spots in this program or we only have three spots left. Urgency 
consistency is related to time, right? So the customer has to sign up by a certain day or they're gonna miss the boat. So like you have 24 hours left, right? Or the offer ends on Sunday at midnight. They both work even better when they're combined. For an example, the offer ends at midnight on Sunday and I'm giving away free strategy calls for the first 10 people who sign up. All of a sudden they're like, okay, cool, this is amazing. The next one, number six is crazy guarantee. So we are huge on guarantees here. We think that they're phenomenal. It's a great way to be able to break through one of the primary things, which is kind of disbelief and not sure if as a consumer that they can actually do it or that it works for them. So you can just crush that right away. And I think it's one of the best selling tools for reversing risk. It also puts the pressure on you as a business owner to provide exceptional service and value because all of a sudden you have a guarantee. If you're not providing exceptional service, then you should probably fix that first before you begin selling. So having a crazy guarantee goes a very long way. And I think it gives you and your team, if you have a team, a huge sense of conviction because like if you guarantee it, then you know you have to fulfill it, right? It also gives your sales team a massive chip on their shoulder and extra ammo. They can literally say, by the way, we have a X double your money back guarantee or we have a whatever, $60,000 guarantee like we do or $75,000 guarantee like we do. That's how good we are, right? We back it up by we guarantee that this will work. And I have always seen it work out monetarily for the business. Never have I seen it backfire. And even if it does at the percentage, you will still win out long-term, okay? Number seven is a free bribe. So what is this, right? When you're selling an ongoing continuity membership. So if you're selling month to month memberships, it's a great idea and you should definitely do this to give away a high value product as a free bribe, basically. So it's an ethical bribe. An example of this would be like, you get our $2,000 nutrition program free today when you become a member, right? So you can stack it in and it's a free bribe as a bonus that they can get. There are lots of different businesses that obviously use this strategy, especially in the medical space, but I don't see it as much in the fitness space and I wish it was, but if you're crafting an irresistible offer, you should throw those in and put a monetary number or amount on those free bonuses. And number eight, this is the best way. This is how you ultimately build your EFT and continuity to where you have a large base by being able to sell high ticket front end products or services and challenges, and then be able to move people into long-term agreements afterwards. It's called downselling your upsell. And so I'm a huge believer in this strategy. Learn it from Alex Ramosi. It's what we teach our gyms to do. And I think we are probably the only people in the world that actually taught people how to do this in the beginning. Alex was the one that kind of created it. And so here's how it works. If I have a high ticket front end offer and I want to downsell them into my continuity. So I want to take them from a six week at 599 where they're paying hundred dollars a week. And I want to get them into a 12 month agreement that actually has more value than what they just got right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna provide them with a reduced cost if they stay longer. So think about it this way. This is why it's called a downsell upsell. You're gonna downsell weekly price and you're gonna upsell length of time. And so that's how it works. So you're like, you're gonna get all of this and pay half the price per week. So think about that, right? So if they're thinking like, hold on, like I was pretty happy with this original thing, but I'm gonna get more for less if I just stay longer and I know I have to stay longer anyway, sign me up, right? It's one of those brilliant strategies that we have used with every single business that we have. And I highly suggest you do that, okay? So those are the eight components of the irresistible offer. Use this checklist next time that you create anything that you want to sell. And I think that you'll ultimately sell way more and have hus uh, happier customers to boot. So if you like this stuff, if you find it valuable, click the subscribe button down below. And if you want access to this and more, click in the link in the description, trade your email, we'll send it over. I promise we won't spam you. Appreciate your time and attention. I'll see you on the next video.